Hello. In this Java tutorial, we're going to talk about the term dereference, and we're going to talk about the error cannot be dereferenced. The four topics we're going to cover are reviewing primitives and reference variables in memory, and this is necessary to understand some of the later parts of this video. What is dereferencing? Dereferencing errors and how to fix the cannot be dereferenced error. So we're going to start by talking about primitive data types and reference, also known as object data types in memory. If you want the whole lesson on these topics, please click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So first, primitive data types. There's eight primitive data types in Java, Boolean, Byte, Care, Short, Int, Long, Float, and Double. All data in primitive types is stored in the stack memory. Now for reference or object data types, the reference variable and a pointer, also known as a reference, is stored in the stack memory. The pointer points or refers to an object on the heap. There are many different reference types, including string, array, ArrayList, etc., or you can write your own classes. Let's take a look at some code we're going to write. This here represents the stack memory, and this represents the heap memory. So I'm going to start by declaring an int, which is a primitive type, a, and then I'm going to initialize that to equal 3. So you see this all shows up on the stack because this is a primitive type. Next, I've got this dog class, and this is just a class I made up, and I'm declaring the reference variable b as a dog. Now, I never initialized it, and I never created an instance of dog. So we have the B on the stack, but it's not pointing to anything, and there's not an object on the heap. Now here, we're declaring a dog C, and we're setting it equal to a new dog. So we're creating an instance of a dog, and C points, this is our pointer, at the dog object on the heap. Dereferencing means to access an object on the heap from a reference variable. So B and C are reference variables. Now let's write some more code. So we have C.bark. Now the dot operator means we're going to dereference whatever object the C variable is pointing at. And in this case it's pointing at a dog object. And we're going to dereference it for the purpose of calling this bark method. And this is legal because we've got C, and it's pointing at a dog object. Now next, we've got B, and it's saying we want to dereference the object that B is pointing at for the purpose of calling the bark method. Now you can see B is not actually pointing at an object, so this isn't going to work. This is going to give us an error, and it's going to tell us B may not be initialized because it wasn't. We declared it, but didn't initialize it. Now A, where we're trying to access, or we want to use the technical term dereference, whatever a is pointing at for the purpose of calling the bark method. Now this isn't possible because a isn't a reference variable, it's a primitive type variable. So this is impossible, it's impossible to call any method from any primitive type variable. In this case we're going to get the error int cannot be dereferenced because no int can be dereferenced. Let's go back to our declaration and initialization of int a and try to think about what the programmer intended to do. There's a couple of possibilities. So the programmer could have intended to declare it as an integer. And an integer is an object type that's called a wrapper class. Every primitive type in Java has a corresponding wrapper class that's an object type. And the object type wraps the primitive data inside an object. So since this a is now an object type, we can call methods from it. So I'm dereferencing the object that a is pointing at, and I'm calling the toString method, which is in this case going to return a string, 3, and then I'm storing it in the x variable. Another possibility of what the programmer intended to do was declare it as an array of ints. So I've got these square brackets. Then I declared it as a, and then I initialized it with a new instance of an array of size 4. So we can see the a is referring to this object. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a.length. So this is accessing a public field length in the object that a is pointing at. 
And the value of this will be 4 because there's 4 indexes. And in this case, we're storing it in the int ARR size. So that sums up the term dereference and explains how you can get the error cannot be dereferenced. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and leave me a comment. To continue on to the full Java tutorial, please click on the playlist in the lower right hand corner of the screen. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get updated about all the newest content from this channel.